Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aries. This is going to be for your November 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, even separated from, to see how they feel about you, how they truly feel about you here. So apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. Uh, anyone interested in wanting to um, check me out on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below, all right? Uh, support me on there too. So, Aries, the person that Aries is dealing with, thinking of, separated from, uh, this could be with new love, current love, or an ex. How is this person feeling about Aries? How is this person feeling about Aries? So we have the Two of Pentacles. It's kind of like the energy of like, not really sure, to be quite honest here, Aries. This person's like exploring other options. They're juggling you with somebody else. So it seems as though this person's not really quite sure how they're feeling here. They're trying to figure it out. I just feel like this person's energy is scattered all over the place here, Aries, okay? So we also have the Eight of Wands here and we have the Six of Pentacles. Here's the thing. There is communication between you and your person here, but I feel like wh whoever this person is, Aries, this person is clearly breadcrumbing you. This person is leading you on. This person has no clear intentions of committing to you or wanting to be with you at this moment here. It seems like whoever this is, this person is just using you. Using you for whenever it's convenient for them. We have the Four of Pentacles here and the Judgment card. Okay. To be quite honest here, this person doesn't really have anything to give. Now, if there's any sort of separation here, like this person is seeking out a reconciliation here, which is really weird and strange, you know, because this person has, doesn't have anything to give. This person is exploring other options here with the Two of Pentacles here and the Lovers, the uh, Seven of Cups here, and also we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Wow. This person's energy is really confusing here. Because I feel like this person sees you as their soulmate. This person sees you as the one here. But I just feel like this person's dealing with a lot of confusion here. You know, I just feel like this person doesn't really... Uh, has a hard time regulating how they feel here. The Eight of Wands here and the Hierophant. So there is communication that this person's looking for commitments here. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles here and also the Page of Cups here. Here's the thing. This person has dropped the ball on you many times here. I do feel like this person's going to drop the ball again, especially with this Page of Cups energy here. Yeah, this person doesn't really have anything to give, a lot to give. This person doesn't really have the maturity level to actually be in a relationship here with you. With the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here, and the Judgment card and the Three of Swords. So what we have here is that I feel like some here is coming in with an apology here. Okay, they're apologizing. I feel like this person loves you, but I also feel like this person's confused whether they want to be with you or not because they're exploring other options here. So, you know, I do feel like in this situation here, this person's very unhinged, very in and out, very unbalanced here, very unstable. <coughs> and I do feel like with the Three of Swords here, I do feel like this person's going to hurt you again. What else do we have here for Aries? What else is this hurt person feeling towards Aries here for November 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries, for Aries. So Aries, we have the Page of Wands here and the Death card here. You know, if, if this were to come back together here, Aries, I really have a feeling that this is not going to last here. Uh, you know, this person's definitely putting you in the friends with benefit zone here. I feel like that's one of the reasons why things ended here. Yeah, it's kind of like with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's a rinse and repeat sort of situation here, okay? I do believe that this person misses you for their own selfish reasons here, okay? But I really don't feel like this person is willing to commit to you. Uh, they could come in with the energy of like, uh, yeah, F yeah, let's do this, you know? Let's make this happen. But I really don't feel like it's going to hold up. The full Aries energy here, Five of Cups here. Yeah, with the Five of Cups here, this is the energy of someone feeling let down. You know, it's someone here disappointing you here, okay? Um, I feel like this person is remorseful, is regretful, but one of the things that really stands out with this person here is that this person doesn't really make the um, effort to change, you know? Uh, so that, you know, the patterns don't repeat itself over and over and over again. 
Yeah, this is an individual that's really, really, really immature, I would say. The uh, page of wands here. This person has a tendency to throw temper tantrums here. When you catch them in lies and stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> even if you have proof in catching them in a lie, this person still denies and covers it up with another lie. So I just feel like this person is just not really trustworthy here. We have the death card here and also the three of pentacles here. I feel like, you know, this is what this person wants. They want to work things out here. But I also feel like you just know that you just can't trust this individual. Yeah, you just can't trust this individual here. We have the wheel of fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. It seems like you guys are destined to be in a relationship together here, but there are lessons to be learned here. The problem is we have one person that's not learning a lesson. It makes it very difficult when that happens. Yeah, it makes it really difficult to actually continue the relationship because there's a lack of uh, evolution. There's a lack of growth. Six of Cups. Six of Cups here and also the Six of Swords. Okay. Six of Swords here. Also, we have the Fool card. Why is the Fool card here? The Fool. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, this person's definitely looking for a reconciliation here. Yeah, um, you know, how whatever they do, however they're going to do it, whatever they're going to try, it's just not going to work because I feel like this person's going to come up defeated here. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're stepping away from this because you're realizing that this situation that you're in is toxic. You want better here. Yeah, you want better here. With the Ace of Swords here, you're clear about this here, okay? Uh, you're wanting to move towards a new beginning uh, yourself, and this is something that you don't really want to take on or deal with anymore, okay? So I feel like, you know, the games with this individual here, the, uh, the rinse and repeat, you're kind of like in this energy of like, you know what, I'm just going to break this pattern here. It's just too toxic. It's not really going anywhere. This person's not getting it. Okay. And, you know, I just feel like this person's just going to behave the way that they've been, that, that they've been behaving here. Uh, no change here. But, you know, I, like I said, I feel like you guys are destined to meet each other for a reason. And there are lessons to be learned here. And I feel like someone who is not learning their, learning their lesson. Okay. So, um, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.